Yo, 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 yo. I, uh, I don't know, man. You know, it's been a minute. I ain't done no lives in a minute. Um, not nothing about nothing, at least. You know, I think I went live for my birthday last. Showing y'all the foolishness that was taking place. But I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. You know, it's a beautiful day. A lot warmer than it's been, um, you know, here in Virginia at least. Get thing on 55 degrees, no coats today. I don't really be wearing coats no way though, you know. Should be like st stiff on my arms and shit. I don't like that shit. I'm gonna try not to cuss that much, but we'll see how that go. Um, but yeah, man, I um, just, 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 I guess some residuals. I was, um, I was, I was doing a workshop last night for um, uh, business startup, and um, you know, I had a lot of people asking a lot of questions and stuff, and, and really good questions, and 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 so I um. You know, I was answering a lot of questions, but I definitely didn't um, get to say everything that I wanted to say. Um, you know, so so we were talking about like financing your business and stuff and finding money for your for your companies. Um, and then you know, it's only a couple of ways to do that. You know, you borrow it or, or or you find somebody that 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 believes in you, that believes in your business, that believes in what you got going on, and they can invest in you. Um, but if you don't, you know, if, if 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 you don't have a solid plan, right, a solid strategy, um, oftentimes it's going to be find, hard to find somebody that that's truly going to be willing to invest in you. Um, if 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 you do, right, sometimes I've seen the issue arise where people. You know, they find investors, so to speak, but these investors don't really understand investing. Um, so let me send this text real quick. So, 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 so like I say, you know, uh, you, you, you find investors, but, but they don't really understand investing. Right. And what I mean specifically is that, like, you know, oftentimes people will finance a company. I mean, people start a business and look for people to, you know, give them money to, 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 to start the company or whatever like that. And the people that's giving them money, the investors, you know, they're looking for a, a return on their on their money. Right. Um, but see, like a lot of the times, like people don't understand where that return is really supposed to be coming from. So, like, you know, for example, right, you you know, I, and I've seen this too many times, you know, people, people, people. You 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 go to your buddy like yo uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a um I'm gonna get this uh, this pressure washer right and I'm gonna start this pressure washer business because you know people need it and you know I used to do it and whatever right your your man's might know that about you whatever like that and you feel like yo I'm gonna go solo so I need the pressure washer I need the van you know I need a little bit of money to do this then the third and your man's is like okay bet you know well, how much money you can make from it blah 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 blah. And you're like, oh, well, you know, we're going to make a lot of money. You know, we're going to make X amount of dollars per month. I used to do it. I used to make it like this. And so they're like, okay, well, bet, you know, um, I give you some money to start off with. But, you know, I want you to throw me something back every month or whatever. And you excited, right? You started this business and you got somebody that's willing to give you some money to go in with you because they trust you or whatever. And so you sign yourself up for that. And so, like, what happens, though, is that, you know, you didn't truly game plan for the company the right way, for real, for real, right? You didn't really write out, you know, your expenses. You didn't really think about your marketing. You didn't really think about, you know, the the, the insurances and things like that that you have to pay on a regular basis. And so you signed yourself up to pay your, your man's back X amount of dollars per month. But truthfully, you know what I'm saying? You're taking that away from your opportunity to grow and expand that business, right? And, and, and so, you know, what happens is, you know, you, 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 you scared to ruin the relationship with your mans and, you know, you don't, you want to keep everything up. You want to be a person of your word. So you paying him, but you taking his money out of the business. Right. And, um, and one of the guys, he said it beautifully last night, right? He was talking about your business and he said, you know, for your first five years, you got to look at that business like a baby. So like, you know, you, 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 you literally are taking food out of the baby's mouth when you're taking money out of that business, 
You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, you know, if your mans really want to see that business be, 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 you know, thriving and flourish and everything, then he got to understand that which your, 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 your return on your investment as an investor in a startup company and a new business is growth, right? Like people is looking for income from a startup company. And that's crazy because the company's just starting up, right? And I've seen it plenty of times. I'm sure y'all have too. So, you know, you, 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 you working to pay somebody back instead of reinvesting those dollars back into the company, which is what they should want anyway. Because if they really, truly trusted you and they really believed in the business, then they should want to see that investment that they put in grow, right? And investment is a seed. And so, like, you got to treat it as such, right? You got to water the seed. You got you to put sunlight on the seed. You got to put it in the right soil. You got to do all these types of things to make sure that you're getting what you're supposed to get from this from this seed, right? Because if you don't do those things, then the seed's not going to grow the right way. And so like, you know, but that's what happens in our community, especially, right? Because, you know, everybody think that, especially nowadays, right? Like shh, investing in, in, in being a boss and making money and being a business and owner or whatever, all that shit is the wave, right? It's like, it's like, it's like cool and it's fashionable. It's just another trend. And so, you know, you try to put people, oh, I'm going to put money over here, put money over there. But you 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 need that money right back. So if you can't afford to, to wait out the growth period, then you can't afford to invest. It's that simple, right? Because like it's saying, and it's funny, right? It's so funny because like people, 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 I, I hate when people say they don't know because you be knowing, right? So like, so like you don't, you don't say that to to Netflix, right? Netflix ain't never paid you a dividend. You know what I'm saying? Netflix ain't never paid nobody no money. You don't say that to Amazon. Amazon ain't never paid nobody no money. People get growth from Netflix. People get growth from Amazon. You invest in the stock market, nine times out of 10, you get growth out of those, out of those companies because you invest at a point where you know, hopefully that 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 investment that you put in can 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 take some time and grow on the stock market, right? But so like, you know, what we do though, we we say this time, man, because we don't, you know, you don't do you believe in the business or not, right? If you are going to invest, you got to believe in what it is that 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 is investable. Now, of course, again, you know, it's 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 a two sided coin, right? Because if you're an entrepreneur and you're really looking for investment dollars for real, then you got to be smart enough to know. That if your man, if, if whoever is telling you like, yo, okay, bet I give you this money, but in 60 days, 30 days, 90 days, whatever, I need this to start coming back. You need to tell them, yo, go ahead and keep that money because you need that money, right? Like if you need that money back in 30, 60, 90 days, you need that money. You don't need to give it to nobody else if you're an investor, you know what I'm saying? But if you're a business owner, right? If you're a founder, right? This is your baby. So so, so imagine, right? Like, you know, imagine, you know, if you're a baby mother and, and, and your baby father tell you, oh yeah, nah, I got some money for you, but I need that shit back in 30 days, right? Like, you gonna tell that nigga, fuck you real quick. I, I, I said I was gonna watch my language, but I'm not. I'm just saying, it. if, if it's for a baby and, 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 and either parent, right? You know what I'm saying? You say, uh, I, the, the baby need this, the baby need that. Okay, well, the baby need to get that, right? And if the baby need it again, then the baby need it again. You can't go back to them and be like, yo, I need that money back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, remember that, remember that, remember that hundred I gave you for the baby last month? Like, yo, that's gone. I spent that on the baby. The baby is growing. And it's the same thing for the business. You know what I'm saying? It's the exact same thing for a business. Your business is your baby. And so, like, you can't be taking food out your baby mouth because your partner, right, who should be in this game with you of growing this baby and helping this baby get get bigger and stronger and healthy and all those good things, they should be on that same accord with you. And if they're not, they're not your partner, right? If if that's not the situation, then they not they're not really invested in 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 your, your, the growth of 
of your company, right? And so you need to find people who are like that. Now, the best thing that's going to help you with that as a founder, right, is making sure that you got a solid strategy plan. Got a, I always say strategy plan. I rarely say business plan because a strategy plan to me is, is more actionable. It's more thorough for a lot of reasons. You know, we could talk about that on a different time. But if you got you a solid strategy plan, then you'll know, okay, I need to spend X amount of dollars per month here, right? And, and, and you know, over the course of time, I want to start moving and spending more money over here and, and marketing in this arena, this, that, and the third, if you have a strategy. And then you can also say to potential investors, here is the strategy, right? Read it for yourself, review it. Tell me if you think it has any holes, anything that, that, that I haven't looked at, you know, anything that I've overlooked, whatever, right? And, and as a, a sound investor, they should review that and, and have that conversation with you. But like, if you don't do your own due diligence, you know what I'm saying? You get caught up on your, um, your, 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 your startup costs, right? Without, without considering your ongoing expenses, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know, as an entrepreneur, oftentimes is going to be blinded by, oh, somebody going to cut me a check. Somebody going to give me some money, you know, and, and, and I'm a, I'm a, you know, jump on that and, and got to work with whatever, you know what I'm saying? Terms that this person is, is willing to, to, to go off with the money. And that's not the case. That's, that's not the case. You're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing the business a disservice more importantly. Right? So, so, so have yourself a strategy plan and nowhere in that strategy plan should you be putting that I'm going to kick this money back to, to this business in the next, I mean, to this, to this investor in the next, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, most startup companies, most startup companies, it don't matter what industry that you're in, most companies are not going to be profitable for the first two years, point blank, period. And and that's that's not because you're not making money, right? That's because you're reinvesting the money. And if you if you're smart about it, right? So 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 people here are oh, the company ain't profitable for two years, and you think that you losing money, right? And that's not the same thing. It's, it's, it's a difference between losing money and spending your money strategically, right? So like, you know, what, 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 what every business needs every single year is a capital expenditure plan, right? Capital allocation plan, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Every business needs that for every single year. And what that is, is, okay, we got certain purchases that we're going to need to make over the course of the year. We've been in business or, or, or we've done our research, one or the other, and we expect to spend X amount of dollars on ongoing expenses. So we got a budget for that. We also are looking to grow the company by adding on property, equipment, vehicles, uh, tools, assets, you know, whatever these things are, that's going to help the business become more successful, more sustainable. All of that stuff, you got to write down and tally up, right? And so if you don't have the money to go get it right now, but you're in business operations, then you need to be using your revenue to go towards those capital expenditures. And if you're raising money, then that's what you need to be saying to the people that you're raising money from. This is what it's going to go towards. And here's what we expect for to happen from that. So like, you got to have that, like, you know, conversation that, 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 that understand and most importantly, right, of how the business utilizes money, right? Like you, you gotta you gotta know that and you gotta understand that the most important place for money to be in the business is in the business, not in the investor's pocket, not in your pocket, but in the business itself, recycling, right? Purchasing more assets, purchasing more uh 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 Whatever it is that's going to help that company grow, whether it's marketing, whether it's supplies, whether it's payroll, whether it's whatever, right? Like every company is going to be in a different situation. But bottom line is, is, you know, the adage is true. It takes money to make money. So you can't, you know, get into bed with an investor that's like, yo, I need my money tomorrow. Like that's, that's, that's bad business. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, 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 I feel like that's, that's, just a just a just a, a real opportunity for understanding in, in in our communities, and and again, you know, like I, I mean, it's it's a blessing that you know this is the wave right now, and people is, you know, this is what we gonna do. We gonna we gonna grow businesses. We gonna grow money. Yada yada. You know, get wealthy. All that stuff is the wave, and that's cool. But like, 
capitalism is a is a is a is a is a way of life right it's 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 a religion for real for real it's a way of being and so 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 capitalism in and of itself really requires that 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 thought process within it of capitalizing right and capitalizing means you know exploiting the opportunity and 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 you can't exploit opportunities if you're throwing money towards the wrong things, right? Like when I used to be um, a stockbroker, right? One of the things I used to say to people all the time, because the question used, to, you know, people used to ask me about the stock market all the time. People, you know, main question people used to always ask me about the stock market is, yo, when should I invest? When should I invest? And my question, it didn't matter the season, the time of year, you know, the day of the week. Question, my answer was always the same. The best time to invest is when you have the money available. Right. And the same thing for a business. You have to have the money available in order to reinvest. Right. Because your business is an investment, you know, in and of itself. And so you have to have the money available to reinvest. And if you kicking that money out to, 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 to all your partners and this and the third, then you're not going to have the money available to, to re reinvest into your company. Right. And so what happens then is that people become self-employed for lack of a better term. Right. Like, and there's nothing wrong with being self-employed, but it's a vast difference between being self-employed and being a business owner. Right. Being self-employed means you don't have no boss. Right. It also probably means that you don't have much of a support system either, which makes self-employment extremely difficult. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the best form of self-employment is is industries and professions that don't, you know, require a whole lot of outside resources and teamwork. You know, people, people, professional services, right? Like for lack of a better term, professional services, accountants, um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, lawyers, right? I mean, a doctor could potentially do it. You know, they used to back in the day, so to speak. But but. But but most other businesses that's not like professional, you know what I'm saying, services, most other businesses is going to be situations where teamwork is necessary. And, and if teamwork is necessary, you got to look at the business in a different way. You can't look at it like uh, this is just my job. You got to look at it like this is a company and how can I get this company to be in the best position for success. And it's going to be hard to do without without resources. And so once you get your company to a place where it is generating revenue, your job as that business owner is to be as strategic as possible as, 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 as you can be with where that, that revenue is being distributed and allocated. And the best place, the number one best place that you can put money in a business is back into the business. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it does a couple of things, right? So like to get a little bit technical on you, right? If, 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 if you got an LLC, right? And you got partners with your LLC or whatever like that, what happens at the end of the year, if y'all made money is that, 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 that profit is distributed amongst the, the, the owners. And each of those owners is able to report that income on, you know, their own personal tax return. The business usually is not going to be taxed. But, right, if the owners are smart enough, what they'll be trying to do is use that profit that has been amassed over the course of the year to reinvest into the business. And, you know, again, if they're really strategic, they'll have a capital expenditure plan so that profit that they amass is going to go towards the capital expenditure plan and, and, and purchasing the assets and things that they are going to need to do business in the future and to grow the business. And so you don't technically have to take the profit. You can reinvest that profit back into your business and basically say the business didn't make any money because the money that we made, we spent back into the business, which means that for your business, you know, the partners and the people that's the owners of the business, that your tax return is going to say y'all didn't make no money. And so then you don't have no, no, no additional, you know, income taxes on that money or whatever like that. And that's good and bad for a handful of other reasons, whatever that that's not really a topic of discussion right now. But the, the idea is that, you know, being strategic with the money is is what's most important. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, little, 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 little quick tidbit because of the conversation that I was having last night. And, you know, I, I think. I think, you know, unfortunately in this community, we, 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 we think about business oftentimes in a way of 
thinking about money, right? But businesses and money is two different things, way two different things. And if your focus is on money, then business is going to be real tough. You you have to put your focus on business and not on money. Money has to be front of mind because money is the lifeblood of your business. But your business's success has to be top of mind, number one issue, priority, point blank, period. And that money has to be supportive of that business's success. Because again, like I'm saying, you know, we we had this we had this this the 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 the, the cultural zeitgeist of the moment is this black wealth this black you know legacy creation and, and money 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 but like you know income is not the the measure of wealth right income producing assets is the measure of wealth and the number one income producing asset in the entire <laughs> history of of humanity is business you know what I'm saying uh. Or the church, right? <laughs> but I'm not going to go there. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here because that could turn into a whole other conversation. I appreciate y'all watching, man. I just want to drop some jewels real quick while I could, while I was fresh on my mind. Hope everybody had a great, you know, beautiful Tuesday. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to do a little bit more uh, consistent uh, posts, whether it's on Facebook, IG, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. You know, but 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 the information's got to be out there, and we got to start moving a lot more like a unit, right? Maybe that's what I'll talk about next time. But you know, one of the things I definitely want to make sure that you know I, I put into to 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 the to the to the atmosphere and to the ether is that you know, individual wealth is 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 okay, I guess, right? It probably feels good, it probably looks good, and and, and this, that, and the third. But individual wealth is 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 one of the biggest masks that you can have in the black community. You know what I'm saying? It's not truthfully real. Um, statistics will tell you, you know what I'm saying? That individual wealth, especially in our community, dwindles quickly, right? For, for a variety of different reasons. And so we have to start thinking um, a lot more collectively, right? Like this, 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 this community capitalism is, is the name of the game, you know, and we'll talk more about that. Um, but peace, man. You know, I, I, I love, appreciate everybody. Hope everybody's, you know, happy, blessed, healthy, all that good stuff, man. Y'all be safe out here.